What happens when you shoot a raw egg over 300 miles an hour? Sooner or later, they have to stop. These eggs are actually traveling about 100 miles an hour faster than the arrow from a bow. Now what happens to the egg actually depends on something called impulse. When we stretch out the time that an egg decelerates, the force decreases enough so that it doesn't break. If we stop it too quickly, we get scrambled eggs. After testing various methods to see how fast I could get an egg going, my next goal is to see if I can stop one safely without it breaking. We don't normally think of eggs as being dangerous, but seeing how easily it passed through this tarp, I thought we'd take a look and see how it does against other targets. All right, let's try it with half-inch plywood. <laughs> half-inch plywood and the egg went right through it. That is amazing. Just to get an idea of how much energy that egg has when it hits this board at 300 miles an hour, I can take a hammer and swing it as hard as I can. I'm not even close to matching the kinetic energy of that egg. I never expected a raw egg to go through half inch plywood, so we're going to try it again. In this case, we're going to try it with three quarter inch plywood. They seem to go through the three quarter inch plywood just as easily. This time our target's made from poplar wood. It's about six inches thick. Well, we finally have a target that it didn't go through, didn't even scratch the paint. <laughs> now, let's see what happens with aluminum roofing. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the size of this hole. I thought it would dent it. I didn't think it would go through it. I definitely have to try something stronger. This is 24 gauge steel. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, the egg didn't go through it, but it certainly did put a big dent in it. I still find this amazing. The amount of damage that was done to these targets was simply by hitting them with a raw egg. Now, the amount of kinetic energy doesn't match up to swinging a hammer. In fact, it wouldn't match up to swinging a sledgehammer at it. Speaking of sledgehammers, let's see how an egg holds up against one. Point side up. Obviously, the egg is very fragile, but because it's moving so fast, it actually has more kinetic energy than the head of that sledgehammer. Which is why it can punch through the aluminum or the plywood so easily. All the kinetic energy of this egg starts out as potential energy as compressed air stored inside this chamber. The compressed air is going to push the sabo and egg down a nine foot long barrel. It's going to exit at about 300 miles an hour 
the sabo drops off, and then the egg goes on to the target. All right, here's my next target. Three, two, one. It looks like the egg actually broke apart before it hit the watermelon. Here's an egg that stayed together, and here's one that broke apart inside the barrel. We can see the materials starting to spread out. The egg that hit the watermelon did the same thing, but it still hit with enough force to break it apart. Let's see if an egg can open a soda bottle. I like that one. Well, that looks pretty good. I think I want to try another bottle. Let's try a soda can. Could a hard hat protect you from a raw egg? Let's find out. Looks like it's okay at 10 miles an hour. Now, let's try it a little bit faster. Now that's a pretty good size dent. If I try it on my head, I don't feel it inside. So this was a pretty good piece of safety equipment. Now I do have one more target. If you've ever had problems with technology, this last shot's dedicated to you. Even with the egg's momentum driving the computer backwards, there was still enough energy to punch through the screen and the lid. Anybody need a used computer? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, but please understand the dangers of anything traveling at these kind of speeds. My helmet, by the way, has returned to its original shape after sitting out in the sun all day. Now, I am still trying to catch one of these eggs and keep it from breaking. So far, I haven't been successful. So if you have any suggestions, please put it in the comments below. Okay, bye.